I think. What, what, sorry. I was say, what do you both think about reading the duas in English or reading the duas in different languages? The spirituality aspect of it, because my, my, my Arabic's not, not perfect. Yeah. Allah you know. has not captured any languages. He's the creator of all languages. So he's re even if you do it in English. Well, the interesting thing in this dua is that he's, um, it says in the translation, I seek refuge, refuge with Allah from the outbursts of the Arab and the non-Arab. Mm -hmm. And it's encompassing sort of all mankind. Basically. And basically. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, I don't know about yourselves, but um, if Arabic isn't your first language, um, I think it's nice to read the Arabic in however you can, in the, in the efficiency. Mm -hmm. And then the, Engli the English translation or the language of your... Um, you know, you, you, that your you're preference, used to. your yeah. choice, yeah, yeah. It gives you the understanding, doesn't it? And then it reiterates really what you've spoken. Of course. Um, and then maybe the blessings in both. It's but about your near. Absolutely. It's what your heart, what your heart is feeling. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will take that from there. Yeah. It's not from what you say. No. So even if you said the words wrong, even if you're saying it in English, the words are wrong. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows that your near yeah. is you're supplicating to Him. Yeah. yeah. So He'll take yeah. that from you from yeah. according. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم استمسكت بعروة الله الوثقى التي لن فصام لها واستعصمت بحبل الله المتين أعوذ بالله من فورة العرب والعجم وأعوذ بالله من شر الشياطين الإنس والجن توكلت على الله طلبت حاجتي من الله حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم